Breaking news. Putin's forces maintain pressure on Avdivka, but Zelensky's troops continue to fend off attacks. Russian forces kept up the pressure on the eastern town of Avdivka on Sunday, and they ramped up the shelling in the southern part of Kherson. Since retreating from a failed advance on Kyiv at the start of the February 2022 invasion, Russian forces have focused on the industrial east while attempting to maintain positions in Kherson, the region's main town, which they abandoned late last year. The buildings in Avdivka are mostly reduced to shells, but the general staff of the Ukrainian armed forces reported that Ukrainian forces had repelled nearly 20 Russian attacks around the town that day. Nearby villages were reportedly bombed by Russian aircraft. Kherson region officials in southern Ukraine said on Sunday that Russian military planes dropped more bombs than ever before in the previous day. The Operational Command South spokeswoman, Natalia Humanyuk, reported that 36 missiles had been recorded over the area, with multiple strikes occurring in some villages. Kherson has seen a record number of bomb attacks in the past 24 hours, and Ukrainian officials say that Russian missiles have killed six people at a postal distribution center in Kharkiv. On Sunday, authorities in southern Ukraine claimed that Russian forces had dropped an unprecedented number of bombs on the Kherson region. The Ukrainian military's Operational Command South spokeswoman, Natalia Humanyuk, said that 36 missiles had been recorded over the area, with multiple strikes occurring over some villages. The war-ravaged city of Kharkiv in northeastern Ukraine was hit by a Russian missile, killing at least six people and injuring at least 14 more, according to Ukrainian officials. President Volodymyr Zelensky made the statement on the Telegram messaging app, saying, Russian missiles hit the Nova Pashta Center, an ordinary civilian object. He uploaded a clip showing a damaged building with strewn construction supplies and red trucks bearing the Ukrainian words, Nova Pashta, on their sides. Several of the injured are in critical condition, according to Ole Sinihabov, governor of the larger Kharkiv region, of which the city of Kharkiv is the administrative center. According to Sinihabov's telegram post, those killed and injured were postal center workers. According to the police, the siren went off a split second before the explosion, leaving the workers no time to run to the shelter. Reuters was unable to confirm the stories on its own. Russia did not immediately respond with a statement. Both Russia and its neighboring country deny intentionally targeting civilians during their February 2022 war. Russia's full-scale invasion of Ukraine began with devastating effects on Kharkiv, the country's second-largest city. On the evening of Saturday, October 21, a missile hit a mail depot in the Ukrainian city of Kharkiv, killing six people. Governor of Kharkiv Ole Sinihubov reported on social media that the blast, which they believe was caused by a Russian S-300 rocket, also injured 14. Nova Pashta, a private Ukrainian postal and courier company, lost all of its employees in the attack. According to a company statement, the air raid siren went off mere moments before the attack, giving no time for those inside the depot to seek safety. According to Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky, the target of the strike was a ordinary civilian object.